Hello team, Greece for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on UFT. This is Nish Kumar Singh and you are watching UFT series. Today we'll be working on the uh, next checkpoint of the series, that is text area checkpoint, which is going to help you to understand how it is different from text checkpoint. So generally we have two types of checkpoints here when uh, talking about text verification and UFT. Text checkpoint is just one text at a time, uh, you cannot just verify multiple texts on the screen. Whereas the text area checkpoint will allow you to verify multiple texts at the same time. So that's the big difference between the text checkpoint and the text area checkpoint, which allows you to capture multiple objects text at the same time and verify the same. So let's get going with it. All we need is to take up a new test. Uh, so here we are. So we have got a new test here, and uh, we'll be just quickly recording a simple script, which will also take you understand to uh, how exactly uh, this uh, checkpoint can be added. So in case you are stuck with text checkpoint, you have not been through that, or you don't know what are the basic principles of checkpoint and how do we add it, you can quickly go back to standard checkpoint or text checkpoint tutorials, and then come back here. So I'm just quickly recording a simple script. During the recording of the script, I'll also use a text area checkpoint to show you how exactly we can add a checkpoint for multiple text at the same time. So say OK, and uh, let us just have some different values here. I'm again trying with the Portland, uh, Sydney, and having business here. OK or just keep it economy, you know, it's up to you, whatever you want, and maybe the number of tickets as four, and then you come to uh, drop down, text area checkpoint, uh, because we do have output values for everything that we'll be learning in the upcoming tutorials. Now we are targeting the checkpoint, and checkpoint and output values are different, so just keep an eye on that, what you're selecting here. Click on checkpoint, and then target the area which you want to capture, so we just drag and drop till the area which is marked to uh, you know monitor the value. So as we select this, it just confirms me that which tab strip are you talking about and say okay, it will represent you something like a complex value because it's not mandatory that it can represent all the values to you at the screenshot. So if you want to see what are the values captured, you can click on the configure. So click on the configure, you can see that, okay, Portland, Sydney, the date, the class, and ticket economy. So as you can see that all this information have been captured. And say okay, just to make sure that the values are captured. Now, uh, you know that about like, this is constant the expected value, we can parameterize it, what are match case, exact match and all. In case you have any query, please visit the previous tutorial, text checkpoint, which will help you to understand that in more details. Say OK, and we have added this, and then we just close this application and stop recording. So when we are here, we have got the script to do certain activities. I think I changed the values two times for the uh, class here, and that's where it is appearing. So anyways, well, let's run this and see if it is really working fine for us. So click on Run. And we should get a pass for uh, all the checkpoint which we have added, the text area checkpoint, just to confirm that everything is fine as for that. Okay, so it seems like it's working fine because it is not using the uh, delay, what we have added for any step. So, okay, I, I see there's a failure here. Uh, let's go back to this and check out what exactly has gone wrong in the text area checkpoint. So. Okay, the number, the ticket ticket was not captured. So, seems like the ticket was not added in the expected, but actually it, when it compared, there was also a ticket number here that is number four. So it has taken the entire strip. So, uh, sometime you need to be careful with these things, okay? And anyways, I was talking about uh, the text area checkpoint or the text checkpoint. These are specialized for the web applications. Anyways, let's try one more time. Maybe that can help us. So we are just eliminating this step, or, okay, so um, what do you want you to do here? Um, let's let's re-record here, uh, which could be more easy and simple to see how the script works. So quickly recording, uh, entering the username as John, password as HP. Anyways, you've seen a failure result now. 
that it is really strong and can capture all the necessary information what you will need. So we'll just see a pass status and we will close this. So Sydney and the number of tickets. So let's capture only these three and text area checkpoint. And we are just marking the area here. And say OK. Let's check the expected values, what it has captured. OK, just the three things. Good. And say OK. Now close the application. Stop recording. And uh, good. We have something here with us. Let's click on Run. But before that, keep the application to it. You can use Invoke application to avoid this extra work. And this time, you're expecting a pass. So all the tutorials, uh, I'm using this option for the checkpoints. That first, I'm showing you uh, both the ways uh, how exactly the checkpoints will pass and how exactly the checkpoints will fail. So when it is passed, it will just give you the expected is equal to actual the same values. But when it fails, it does give you a screenshot as well as the comparison between the expected and actual. And this time, we have got a pass here for all the multiple checkpoints at the same time. So that was a text area checkpoint, which generally allows you to capture multiple objects text at the same time and verify. So instead of adding one, 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 you can do that. But what if you want to skip one of in between, then you have to go with text checkpoint, which will be added for independent object. So it just has to be taken a call that what checkpoint is required at what point of time, and you take that. So. Thank you for watching, team. Of course, we were looking at text area checkpoint. We'll have still more checkpoints to go. In case you like the video, do subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for updated videos and new tutorials on EFT. Till then, keep exploring, keep uh, practicing, keep uh, asking questions, and to the, you know keep learning the thing. So take care, and thanks for watching, team. Happy learning.